Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Pageless Library. We are a podcast that reviews audiobooks. I am Bo Knight, and with me, as always, is Ryan Knight. How are you doing today, Ryan? Oh, not so bad. Oh, that's good to hear. Today, we are doing Alone with the Stars by David R. Gillum, which is an Audible original. That's right. That was from this month, right? Yeah, for March. Yeah, it was from March. Yeah, so if anybody's listening to this and wants to pick this up, you could still pick it up for the rest of this month you could so yeah before we get started still 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 waiting on that first email someone please Someday. you know what i'm not even gonna plug everything else i just am gonna throw the email out there okay that's k-o-t k-o-t-p-l dot pod at gmail.com someone please make our day make our week make our month make our year just, just uh yeah, just shoot us an email, even if it just says hi. We would like to hear yeah. from you. Yeah, literally two letters. We'd be like, what? <laughs> just to see that little notification in the corner would be awesome. Yeah, it really would. Yeah, so like Bo said, this is an Audible original, so you can only get it on Audible. It is Maybe. by David R. Gillum. <laughs> Gil- Gillum? How'd you say his name? Gillum. That's a Gillum, yeah. I said yeah. Gillham earlier. Oh, Gilham. Ooh, that might be Gilham. how you say it. It might be, but I, it doesn't matter. No. So, let's see. What is Mr. Gillum known for? Apparently, he is a New York Best Times author of Women and Annalise. Oh, City of Women and Annalise. Those okay. are the two books he's best known for, apparently. Uh, never heard of you. Either one of those. Me neither. What does that say about us? Uh, we're uncultured swine. <laughs> yeah, <it's> so true. <laughs> so yeah, this book was, I believe it was written last year in 2019, but it was uh, published and produced on Audible this year. So it's brand new. Let's see, the narrators. There are two in this book. So this book is a little weird in the sense that it's not really a... Um, uh, oh my gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a... What, like a dramatization? Is that what you're talking about? Y- yes, that, thank you. It's not a dramatization, but there are like some weird sounds, sound <laughs> effects thrown in there every once in a while. Yeah, for why? So, yeah, we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, Sorry. <laughs> but the, the story is going to be told kind of from two perspectives. One is from uh, Amelia Earhart's perspective, and the other is from this girl Lizzie's perspective. Right, and so the, the and narrators so, are Hallery Huber and Emily Bauer. I don't really know how to say her last name. Bauer. Emily Bauer. Bauer. Yeah, it's Bauer. Is it really Emily Bauer? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty I mean, sure that's how you say that. Uh, so I don't, I don't know which one's which. I'm not sure either who read which character. Um, but... Let's talk about so what kind of what is the genre of this book? I say it's like like historical fiction. Yeah, so it is historical fiction because I think it's based on true events, but I think it's kind of uh, embellished in a way. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, okay. So this book is only two hours long. For anybody who's curious, it's pretty short. Yeah, it's only two hours. Good call. Uh, like we said, I'm not seeing a price. Are you seeing a price? Uh, it was free uh, as long as you got it in March as an Audible original. I'm not seeing a price either. So we'll just leave it at that uh, for reasons. So did you think this was easy to follow? Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to disagree on a few parts. because, And I'll get into it after the spoiler wall. But I found myself being like, what just happened? What? Who? Why? Why is this happening? I- I'll I'll say why it's easy to follow and why I think it's easy to follow in a minute. Okay. Uh, I mean, easy listening. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, the narrators do a decent job. They do. I'm not gonna say that they're like 
they do an amazing job or anything, but they do a good job. The lady that does Amelia Earhart does a really good job, I think. Yeah, I thought she did better too than the the gal who did Lizzie, but I I didn't think. I mean, I, I mean, neither I of them are stellar performances, but right. But I also didn't think they were bad by any means. No. Um. So, what's your overall recommendation on this one? Uh, don't waste your time. Yeah, I'm going to agree. I do not recommend this book. Um, if you, so like we said, this is a story about Amelia Earhart, but it's like in a very, very round, well, it's in a very, very roundabout way. And I believe that this is based on true events from that other gal, Lizzie, I believe is an actual thing. That's actually a thing that happened. Okay. But, um, okay, never mind. I'm I'm sorry. (laughs) But my only comment on that would be, if you want to know more about that, just look up a real like the true events of it then don't yeah. waste your time with this this story yeah i agree 100 percent. well that's good so with that we're gonna go ahead and pass the spoiler wall and we're gonna spoil the whole story now uh and you could just take our word for it to be honest yeah <laughs> so yeah. uh yeah so with that let's let's go ahead and spoil this thing so yeah this whole book is basically around like this fact this lizzie girl hears a little snippet of Amelia Earhart like right before she goes down but why and like this isn't even a story no not really there's nothing like nothing happens it it, like I I know they like try and like link the two events together but they don't mean anything right it nothing happens no and I uh I so I for some reason I mean, like I said, because this is based on true events, I'm assuming is why it's written this way. But I, at one point, I was like, man, this uh, author must really have something against the Coast Guard because oh, no. he's really portraying these gentlemen that are in the Coast Guard very poorly. Yeah. Um, and I was actually even a little offended, you know, because I was in the Coast yeah, Guard. Yeah, should have been. I mean, I know everybody's offended by everything these days, but I seriously, there's a few parts where I was like, whoa, uh, okay, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, I also never once would have been, uh, you never would have seen an exchange like this portrayed between a warrant officer and a master chief. Never, ever. Those things would never happen that way. I don't care. I don't even care if someone in the real events, that's how it went down. I'm I'm not gonna buy into it. <laughs> I don't that whole scene with like they they go to the Coast Guard to tell them what they heard. I thought it was just really strange and f- was seemed so forced to like give a little bit of conflict in the book. But that was the part too, what where end? I, right. That was the part that I was talking about in the beginning where I was like, "What is happening? Why why are these people yelling at each other now?" And he's like. Duh, she chose you over me. I I'm know like, it was like what? so random. It's like bringing yeah. the dude's mom into it that you never like the girl's mom that you barely had even mentioned. It's like why is this even part of this? Yeah, and I mean maybe those are all part of the true events, but it, uh, not enough context was given to let us know that. So, and I thought one thing that really bothered me about this book is like the two tone, the tone of each individual like story. They were so different. It, like, didn't yeah. make any sense. Like, it was, like, I kind of, like, like the, the Amelia stuff was really interesting. But, like, when you go back to, like, the, what's her name? Lizzie. Oh, Lizzie. You go back to her, it was, like, totally jarring. Because, like, Amelia Earhart's talking about the fact that she's, like, pregnant and all this stuff. And you're like, oh, my God. I can't believe all that. Like, she was pregnant at the time that she went down. And then it goes back to, like, Lizzie just messing with radios and shit. It's like, okay. Like, I don't, like, did, like, did, there was, it, 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 it didn't mesh at all. I no, felt like it felt so out of place, both of them. <laughs> yeah, it felt like two different stories for sure, which I get that's what they were trying to do. But like you said, then they kind of try to mesh them back together at the end. And it just didn't make a lot of sense to me at all. I, it's OK. She heard the, the final broadcast of her. Cool. But why? It didn't help them find her. It didn't do anything. So it's like, why is this even relevant? Well, and I didn't even realize that that's what was going on at the end. Um, like, I must have missed the fact that they said that was her. Uh, like, that they said her name, Lizzie. 
because I didn't realize it was like 40 years in the future. Yeah, that was so weird, too. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's the part where I that's kind of what I was talking about, where I I think it's actually kind of hard to follow because I might have been daydreaming when they mentioned her name. But I was like, whoa, what is going on? I'd say it's easy to follow because nothing happens and it doesn't that's... matter. Yeah, that, that is very true, though. You could You're fall right. asleep, and you if you just heard the part about her hearing the broadcast, you heard literally the whole meat and potatoes of this whole book. That is a good point. And it goes on for another two hours somehow. <laughs> like, nothing happens. Like, there's no, there's no, like, you know, like, beginning, middle, end. Like, there's no, there's no peak. There's no climax. It's literally just, like, a flat line. Well, and I think it would have been better suited, um... If so, like I was very confused because in the beginning, we're just talking about Amelia Earhart flying and getting kind of worried about run, maybe running out of fuel. Then all of a sudden it jumps to Lizzie hearing her distress call. And I was like, well, wait a minute. And then it goes. Yeah, that is really bad. But it's not like it's just like giving you basically like Amelia Earhart's like her whole lead up to the flight and everything. And then it's like, oh, no, she's crashing. It's like, okay, well, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, because then, especially then we go back to Amelia Earhart, and she's still not crashing. Yeah. Like, the timelines don't mesh at all either. Like, that's one thing that I really didn't like is how the timelines are completely different, and then they're trying, you know, like, Amelia, it's like all beforehand Amelia Earhart, but then when you go to Lizzie, it's all after she's already crashed stuff. Like, I just I didn't like that. I don't understand why this was even made, if I'm honest with you. Uh, uh, some money? I, I don't really know either. Like, I, because I finished it listening to it, and I was, like, sitting there, and I was like, what? What? Like, this wasn't even a story. Yeah. Like, they took, like, basically, like, one true event that happened, and they, like, spun all this yarn and just stretched it paper thin. Right, that's what I mean. This might have been better instead of basing it on true events. Tell the true event. Tell us yeah. exactly how it went down. Like get first-hand accounts, get, you know, get documents or whatever and then tell us how it actually went down. Don't don't fill in the blanks with some fiction. Yeah, it I just don't get it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't I didn't know. Either. But like I said, I don't I don't recommend this one at all. Don't recommend anybody waste their time. No, don't. There's, I, I I was I wanted to say something to you. It was like, man, I feel like the Audible originals are just striking out lately, and maybe we're just picking bad ones. And that could be, but that's kind of why we're kind of randomly picking them, you know. And I mean, to be fair, you know, we pick on some that are kids' books and whatnot. But um, is this supposed to be a kids' book? Now that I think about it, um, I'm not sure. I know a bunch of people in the comments on here are saying not suitable for children so maybe it was supposed to be a kid's book and it's just not yeah i don't i don't know i don't get it this one just left me confused yeah i agree but with that i think we will stop beating this poor dead um (laughs) i don't know fictional history story yeah yeah this horse has had enough yeah so what are we doing next time, Bo? Dude, next time we're doing the jester. Oh yes, that is true. Which is a so, long one, so we might throw a round table in between. I think. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, be a good time to do one, you know, coronavirus and all. <laughs> Get some of that coronavirus clout. Yeah, I guess. Like. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. The, longer, the more I think about it, just the funnier it gets. <laughs> um, so, yeah, with that, uh, what I will leave everybody with is, if you're still here, uh, please email us. You know, mm-hmm. email us and uh, yeah, kotpl dot pod at gmail dot com, and let us know your thoughts. We're still waiting on some thoughts, criticism, concerns, <laughs> literally hate, anything, hate mail. Yeah. Just let us know. I really want some hate mail, actually. (laughs) We're long long overdue. And and I was going to say this, too. If anybody is listening to this on iTunes, I guess um, one thing that would really help us out that, you know, just takes a little bit of your time is to, like, uh, leave a five-star 
review yeah. and stuff, five star review, uh, I guess would really help our podcast kind of be discovered. Uh, we haven't really been pushing that issue at all um, because we just, I mean, we're mostly just doing this for fun, but at the same time, it would be cool to kind of get our voices out there to more people. And we, then we could get some people over on the discord, you know, and start okay. some conversations. So, hell yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I think we're good. Yeah. I think that'll do it. We'll catch you guys in the next one, hopefully.